a Chinese team has been disqualified from its own military world games. This was because of extensive cheating by the hosts. According to the International Orienteering Federation IOF, initially the Chinese athletes had taken the first, second and fourth places in the women's middle distance orienteering competition as well as second place in the men's. After complaints, the IOF banned the Chinese team from taking part in the contest. In this video, Defense Updates reports on why the Chinese team has been kicked out from Military World Games hosted by it. Let's get into details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Military World Games is a multi-sport event for military sports people, organized by the International Military Sports Council CISM. The games have been held since 1995, although championships for separate sports have been held for some years. Like the Olympics, the Military World Games are held every four years. The inaugural competition was held in Rome in 1995 and this is the first time the event is hosted by China which ended on October 30th. The event is organized by the International Military Sports Council, but the orienteering competition is governed by the rules of the IOF, which runs the civilian sport. 109 countries and around 9,300 athletes participated. There were 27 sports which include the like of wrestling, swimming and parachuting. For this year's event, China built an athlete's village in Wuhan and the country's president, Xi Jinping, attended the opening ceremony. So it's a pretty prestigious event and its stature's been growing. The specific event tests runners on their speed and map reading abilities, the need to navigate the unknown terrain with only a map and compass but it was discovered that the Chinese runners were using illegal means. This includes taking assistance from spectators and using markings and small paths that only the Chinese team was aware of. IOF officials investigated the results after protests from rivals including Russia, Switzerland, France, Poland and Australia. Eventually, the jury decided to void the Chinese team's results and ban them from other races. Organizers rejected an appeal from the Chinese athletes. IOF Secretary General Tom Hollowell said in a statement, The IOF takes the actions of the Chinese team very seriously. He also added the organization was investigating if any further actions need to be taken to guarantee the fairness of competition at the upcoming World Cup final in Guangzhou, China. This is not the first time Chinese have been caught for cheating in major events. Doping scandals have riddled China's international sporting record the past decade, with some athletes stripped of Olympic gold medals. In January 2017, three Chinese women's weightlifting gold medalists at the 2008 Beijing Olympics were disqualified and stripped of their medals for doping following a reanalysis of the drug tests. A Chinese doctor claimed that there had been a systematic doping program in China during the 1980s and 1990s across a range of sports in an interview with German media. According to the whistleblower, Zhu Jin all medals won by Chinese athletes at major international tournaments in the last two decades of the 20th century are tainted by doping. Not only is China known to cheat in sports, but it's done so when it comes to military hardware. China's been illegally copying American and Russian weapons. 
Chinese PLZ-05 is copied from Russian S-19 MSTAS self-propelled howitzer. The S-19 MSTAS is a self-propelled 152mm howitzer designed by the Soviet Union, which entered service in 1989 as the successor to the SO-152. The vehicle is based on the T-80 tank hull but is powered by the T-72's diesel engine. Few of these were bought by China. Chinese experts started reverse engineering the system. They faced lots of difficulty, especially in replicating the engine and transmission. But finally, a decent working copy was created and it was named PLZ-05. Chinese Dongfeng EQ-2050 Brave Soldier is copied from AM General HMMWV Humvee light truck. In the late 1980s, AM General, a major vehicle manufacturer based in Indiana, wanted to sell the high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, also known as the Humvee, to the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA. The PLA rejected the offer and picked up one Humvee that was left by AM General in China. They also gathered a few civilian Humvees that Chinese oil companies had bought in the 1990s. Using reverse engineering, they built a prototype and named it Dongfeng EQ-2050. Y-20 Doppelganger is copied from C-17 Globemaster III. Beginning in the winter of 2009, two Chinese hackers began sending malicious emails to Boeing employees disguised to look as if they came from familiar people. Over the next two years, hackers stole some 630,000 files from Boeing related to the C-17 the third most expensive plane that the Pentagon has ever developed, with research and development costs of $3.4 billion. On January 26, 2013, Chinese copy of C-17 Y-20 doppelganger first flew. Currently, eight are in service. More production is planned for the future. Y-8 is copied from Antonov AN-12. The Antonov AN-12 is a four-engine turboprop transport aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. It's the military version of the Antonov AN-10 and has many variants. In the 1960s, China purchased several AN-12 aircraft from the Soviet Union along with a license to assemble the aircraft locally. The Xi'an Aircraft Company and Xi'an Aircraft Design Institute worked to reverse engineer the AN-12 for local production and the developed aircraft was named as Y-8. Chinese Lejeune Sharp Sword and Chengdu Wing Lung UAV is copied from Northrop Grumman X-47B Unmanned Combat Air Vehicle UCAV, and General Atomics MQ-1 Predator UAV. Beginning in 2011, a series of weaponized emails, PDF and Microsoft Word attachments with malware inside were sent to people who worked to build American drones. The newest Chinese drones, built with stolen data, closely resemble U.S. aircraft visually and in performance, a remarkable turnaround time for China's aviation industry. Chengdu J-20 is copied from Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. In all, the NSA concluded that the Chinese compromised key components of F-35. For example, design details of AN-APG-81 active electronically scanned array radar for the F-35 has been stolen. Importantly, critical aspects of F-35 stealth capability moved to the Chinese hand. The Chinese stole data on the methods used by the turbine to cool gases emitted by F-35's engine as well as other heat reduction techniques. Cheyenne J-11 and J-15 Flying Shark is copied from the Russian Sukhoi Su-27 and Sukhoi Su-33. Russia and China had a deal through which China would acquire Su-27s. Russians claimed that the Chinese began violating licensing terms almost immediately by installing their own avionics on flankers under Chinese designation J-11. The deal fell apart after about half of the Su-27s were sent to China and Moscow accused Chinese manufacturers of replicating the jet under the names J-11 and J-11B. J-15 Flying Shark is a derivative or illegal copy of the Russian Su-33, which was originally based on the Sukhoi-27 airframe. 
but the copying has been done with limited success due to complex engineering involved and J-15 Flying Shark is referred to as flopping fish for its inability to operate effectively from the Chinese carrier. Chinese media is highly censured. As expected, the news of disqualification was not reported widely in Chinese media. But it can't be denied that it was a major embarrassment for China, which was hosting the sporting event for the first time. In a larger context, Chinese rise, as predicted by many experts, is not peaceful and is full of deceit. From using strong-arm tactics against its smaller neighbors to not accepting an independent ruling from the Hague Tribunal on the South China Sea to illegally copying intellectual property of others and wide-scale cheating, Chinese behavior is like a thug. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.